Mr. Leon Kama here, the best man's tutor. So we're going to look at simplification in this video. Yeah? This is very important. And so we're going to look at paper two. We'll look at six exam questions. I hope after this, I will help you with your numbering. Yeah, so come. Simplification paper two. Let's go right into it. They have told us, simplify 6x squared minus 24 over x minus 2. This is paper 2. So what you should know is that simplification always goes with factorization. So I would do I'm going to factorize this. To factorize means finding what's common. So what's common here? 6. So we have x squared. x squared minus 6 into 24. That is 4. Yeah? Over x minus 2. We haven't fully factorized this. This is a difference of 2 squares. So we have 6 then x minus 2, then x plus 2, over x minus 2. So what we do here, we we'll cross what is common. You see, this is common and this is common. You cross them, you cancel them. So your final answer is 6, so then x plus 2. That's so. So simplification always goes with factorization. Yeah, let's look at our example 2. Simplify this is you see how big this is, yeah. So simplify that that that. So the key here is uh division. So what I'll do firstly is say 25p to the power 4 over 7 q q squared. Then I'll change this to multiplication. So this will be once I change this to multiplication, numbers reciprocate. So this 21 will go up. This will be 21 q to the power 4 over 5p power 6 times p over 15 q. So look at that, look at that. Is it making sense? So once we have that now, it's now about multiplying. I'll multiply. So I'll multiply the numbers 25 times 21 to give me 5, 2, 5. Yeah? Now I start multiplying letters. So this is p to the power 4 times p. So one, if you are multiplying variables, like powers, you are multiplying powers, you add. So this is 4. Here there's 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. So you have p to the power 5. Then you have q to the power 4, like that. That's what I like doing. You just, just do it directly. 25 times 21. Then you have this p, time, p to the power 4 times p. Yeah, which is p to the power 5. Then we have this. Then we go down here. Yeah, we have 7. 7 times 5 times 15. This will give us 525. You can use a calculator. It's paper 2. So now you multiply the letters. Look at this. This is q squared. And then we have q here. And this is 2 and this is 1. So we have q to the power 3. So when you're multiplying powers, you add. You add when you multiply. Then you have I have p six. So I write p six. I'm almost there. So once I have this, I will cancel what's common. So this will cancel with that. Then let me look at my p. So here is p six, meaning that there are six p's, and this is p five, meaning there are five p's. So uh, this will cancel and this will cancel. So I have my p here. Here there are q, there are three, and here the q there are four. So I'll cancel this, and I'll cancel that. So what, what, what I have is Q, see this Q, over this P. That's all. So just know how to cancel. Here there are five, here there are six. You cancel one, you have one. Here there are three, here there are four. You cancel one, you remain with one. So please, why are not clear? Please, please pause. So we move on to example three. All these are exam questions. Simplify b minus a over a squared minus b squared. So this is what we have. b minus a over. This means factorization. So you have a minus b, a plus b. That's what it means that take this into two brackets. Once you have that, normally you would cancel what's common. But if you check this, there's nothing that's common. So just leave it like this. Leave it like this. Let's look at three more examples.
So, we're now looking at example 4, exam question as usual. So, they've told us to simplify this. We have 12 dn to the power 3, divide 9 c, c to the power 3 n, then we have 15 c d to the power 3, we have 10 c squared d squared. So, once you have this, what you do is just uh, change this to multiplication. Change it to multiplication. So times, once you have times here, this will go up. So 10 c squared d squared over 9 c to the power 3 n. So what I like doing is just go directly. Just go direct. So 12 times 10, so on 20. Then I have d times d squared is d to the power 3. As I said, you multiply the powers. Then here I have c squared, I have n to the power 3. What do I have here? 15 times 9. What would that, uh, that will give us? 135. 135. I have C times C to the power 3. This is C to the power 4. Then I have D to the power 3. Then I have N. Once I have this, I look for what's common. Yeah? So let me start with the letters first. The letters. So this is D3. D3 will cancel D3. They cancel. This is c squared so c squared here there are four so four minus two will give you two here so there are two when you're multiplying sorry when you're dividing you you subtract the powers so if you see here this this was c squared and this was c to the power four i have subtracted the powers yeah so four minus two is two this is the two you see here here there's a one here so this will cancel and then this becomes 2. You see, 3 minus this 1. So here, these numbers, you find what's common to be 24 over 27. Here you have, what do we have remaining? We have n squared over, what is remaining here? c squared. This can't cancel. Why? Because they are unlike terms. This is c, this is n, yeah? If you want, you can go further with these numbers, yeah? So... For me, I'll end here. You can go further, you can end here. So what confuses a lot of students here, and the examination body knows, is when you're canceling here. You have to be very careful, very careful. So please pause the video, do the same question yourself, and check where you're going wrong or if you've gotten it. Let's move on to our example five. That's our example five. So this is just direct for us, direct. So I will just start. Seven times 35, sorry, seven times five is 35. Seven times five is 35. Then now the key now is to multiply the letters. So I don't have any letters that are the same, so I'll just have S, I have T, then I have U, then I have V, over. So just go direct, direct. Then here I have 15 times 28. That will give me 420. Then uh, I have U3, V squared, S3, T squared. So once I have this, is this. 35 can go into 420. Yeah. And that is 12 times. So 1, this will give us 12. So what do we have here now? This is the where most students get confused, cancelling. So I have this and this. They are cancelling. Uh, what else? Let me go to my T. So this is T squared. They will cancel with this. So I have T here. Where's my S? So this is my S. I cancel here. I have 2. Remember, 3 minus 1. This is the 2 here. Then where's my V? My V. So this is V, v squared. So this will cancel with that. Yeah, so don't miss anything. What am I missing? I think I'm done. So here we have, we have T, because T is the only thing that is remaining. Then we have 12, we have S squared, and we have V. So that's all. So the key is here. As I've said, please pay attention. Pay attention, yeah? So come here. Our final example. So we have... Uh, 2x squared minus 8 over x plus 2. So what we do here, as I said, you factorize. So you have 2. Mm -hmm. 
So x squared minus 2 into 8 will give us 4. Then we have x plus 2. So what we do here now, this has to be further factorized. So we have 2, then x minus 2, difference of 2 squares, then x plus 2. By now you know difference of 2 squares, then x plus 2. Once I reach this level, I cancel what's common. So this will cancel with that. So I have 2, then x minus 2. So yeah, so that is it about... Um, that is it about simplification. It's a very important topic, algebra. So make sure you go through the video at least five times. Find more exam question papers. Do those and uh, you'll get it, yeah? So all the best. God bless you.